the left hand derivative at the point x is equal to k of the function fx which is equal to integral part of x times sine of pi x is given by the limit f of k minus h minus f of k divided by k minus h minus k where h tends to 0 from the positive side. This is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side. The numerator is integral part of k minus h times sine of pi times k minus h minus integral part of k times sine of pi k and the denominator simplifies to minus h. Now in the numerator since k is an integer therefore sine of pi k is equal to 0 because sine of an integral multiple of pi is equal to 0. Also since h is a small positive quantity therefore the integral part of k minus h is equal to k minus 1. Therefore the value of this limit simplifies to minus of k minus 1 times the limit as h tends to 0 from the positive side sine of pi times k minus h divided by h. Now let's evaluate the value of sine of pi times k minus h for different values of k. When k is equal to 1 this value is sine of pi minus pi h which is in the second quadrant and is therefore equal to sine of pi h. When k is equal to 2 the value of this expression is equal to sine of 2 pi minus pi h which is in the fourth quadrant and therefore equal to minus of sine pi h. Similarly at k is equal to 3 this expression is equal to sine of 3 pi minus pi h which is again in the second quadrant and therefore equal to plus sine pi h. At k is equal to 4 the value of this expression is equal to sine of 4 pi minus pi h which is equal to minus sine pi h. In general sine of k pi minus pi h is equal to minus raised to the power k minus 1 times sine pi h. Using this result the value of the left hand derivative of fx at x is equal to k is equal to minus of k minus 1 times the limit h tending to 0 from the positive side minus raised to the power k minus 1 times sine of pi h divided by h. Now multiply and divide by pi and note that the value of sine of pi h upon pi h tends to 1 as h tends to 0. Therefore the value of the left hand derivative is equal to minus of k minus 1 times minus raised to the power k minus 1 times pi which is equal to pi times k minus 1 times minus raised to the power k which is the required answer.